on the note of kind of like meeting people, some fans, some not interacting with people. Uh, one, I know when you talked about when you were you were younger, you were very socially awkward. Uh, was there something that kind of trained you up? Because for me, it was definitely uh, being a waiter uh, mm. and, and working uh, tech support, which is less or more disconnected. But definitely when I was a, a server, I was like, OK, this is how I learn how to talk to people. Was there something that helped you? There was. It was honestly when I went to co- first off college itself, like just mm-hmm. beforehand, well, I think just the freedom of college, the freedom of going out when you want to go out with mm-hmm. friends. And there is the whole like, um, at least in our case, the freshman cliques where like um, in, in our university, all the freshmen would go out in packs together. Really? Yeah, it was kind of weird. Like we all went to see snakes on a plane together, a group of like <laughs> fucking 80 people. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Uh, I never had that level of camaraderie. Okay. That's interesting. But like, obviously it like weaned off, you know, we all sure, made our little awesome. smaller groups, but um, that certainly helped. And just making it that, like being a freshman in college, that's when I really started making um, YouTube videos, short films, et cetera. Mm. And that kind of forces you to be a people person. You can't really be shy and then also like throw thrust a camera in someone's face. Well, I was going to say, because there there is a bit of a difference there. Like I, I'm great on directly to camera, right? I'm, I'm, I feel getting uh, better when talking to just someone one-on-one that kind of knows at least what I do or what the hell any of this is. Mm -hmm. Um, But then like if I'm talking to, it is harder for me to talk to four people that don't know anything uh, about what I do than than to talk to like, you know, when we, if I go on stage and I'm talking to whether it's like 600 to 2000 people, that feels more at home than talking to those four people. Is it because those people you're talking to, they know you is like, like in I this think scenario? I think, well, because most of those people are going to be on my side. Okay. Most of those people, I think it's just like, I've kind of kind of always referred to it as like the continuing of a, continuing of a conversation that I've been having with people online. Mm. Um, whereas someone new, unfortunately, I always end up having, it's less so now if I'm talking to someone that's like 25 to, to 35, they kind of understand the mm-hmm. space. It's not that question of like, so wait, you make money on YouTube? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, so <laughs> something along the lines of that. Sure. But wait, so do you not, do you feel it's pretty similar if you're talking to uh, a camera than if you're talking to a person? Not, mm, good question. Um, Cause I thought you were going to ask about like, what do you do when you talk to someone who's unfamiliar with, you know, what you do? Oh no, everything. we can get there. That'll be interesting. Okay. 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 Well, I'll save that. But um, I, no, I think it's different. I don't feel like I talk to a person the same way I talk to a camera because the camera I'm like very. It, it it's different. It's it's a bit more artificial, I think. I mean, I try to be like real when I'm talking to the camera, but like, of course, it's never really there. I feel like I'm a little louder whenever I talk to a camera. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I just I feel like I'm shouting all the time. Like, um, but when I talk to a person, I can tell you 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 have like the the YouTube gene stronger than everyone because you keep cutting directly to camera. I know. I gotta You're stop like, no, doing that. No, no, you don't have to stop doing that. It's just for me. Bad it, habit. For no, for me, it's interesting. It's a bad habit to look at the thing that is responsible for where you are in this world to go hello. Well, podcasts aren't YouTube videos. You know, it's a different thing entirely. So I yeah. I'm, I'm still kind of like new at the whole podcast game. Like, Although I mean, you've you've been doing it with like uh, Ethan, Ethan and a uh, comment. It's usually he, yes. it's like paired usually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and um, uh, oh my god, uh, Eric. Yeah, I know. Ooh, Fuck, <laughs> Eric. I'm, I'm just. That's good. That's gonna be the clip that I put. I out love there. Eric. I fucking love Eric. The How guy you, I... you fucking forgot that you it's... that you were ready to leave behind. I'm drop s- of a drop of a hat. I still can't think of the 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 Irish town. So like <laughs> Donegal, Donegal, Donegal. Oh my god, got it. I got it. <laughs> Donegal, Ireland. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. So anywho, um, yeah, it's just a different dynamic. I think, to, and, and I feel like when I talk to people. And they don't know what I do. I'm a bit more apologetic by default. Like something turns on. I'm like, oh, I do YouTube. I do like stupid shit on YouTube. I'm never like yeah, defensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's never like, oh, I, d- I have, I'm on YouTube. It's just more like, ah, oh, I just do like. Uh, <laughs> I don't turn into an old aristocrat. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old aristocrat. No, I just. Wait, uh, so you say, oh my God. Uh, so you say that the, uh, the making videos, it helps you kind of like learn how to talk to people. Does that, how quickly does that translate to actually talking to like actual social skills maybe a bit like um eye contact sure i i guess because you kind of because you just really focus up on a camera because you don't want to look off when you're sick because then it just looks artificial but when you talk to someone like yeah i think i used to have a problem with eye contact talking with people yeah and well when you start thinking about it then it makes it then right it's like thinking about breathing manually then it's like oh fuck (sighs) um (laughs) show him you care right 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 this Maintain. is intimate. Do not break. Do not break. Do then, not break. Then if I think of something. Right. <gasps> that's a gasp of air from my eyes. And then back. Back into it. And then, right. So I, I 
guess film that's a good question does filming for 13 years like th- I, does I feel, that help i feel like it does to a certain degree in the sense of you're creating muscle memory without realizing it oh ah, right? that's an um, interesting way to think of it uh that, or at least i think it's also <laughs> i can only use that to a certain degree because my show is primarily jump cut so it's like that's mm-hmm. not how i actually interact with another human being Fair. but it it also as far as the creation of muscle memory though or familiarity and what a conversation would be i think it's just yeah just going through the motions i don't know that's my thoughts on it. That's a good. That's a good uh, point. Yeah. Does it help? I had a really good um, conversation with um, Ian um, Ian uh, Hecox. We had a really good conversation about how improv made him a better listener and conversation mm. conversationalist because um, in improv, obviously, the big mentality is yes and you know that that mm, um, yeah. philosophy. So you have to listen to what the other person is doing to respond accordingly. Um, and that makes you a better listener because a lot of people have the problem of not really listening, just waiting to get their, right, mm-hmm. their thoughts out, Yeah, you know, cause they're like, uh, anyways, <laughs> that, so, and, and he had this great point how yeah. improv really helps you combat that. So I don't know so much about like, if looking at the camera, making the, the YouTube videos makes me a better, um, person at, uh, conversing, sure. but I can see something like a more dynamic exercise, like, um, improv making you like a better per- like we even argued it just makes you a better person you say even arguing we like we were even arguing oh. that yeah sorry oh. <laughs> again tripping over my words really no, arguing but yeah no you're great uh, but uh but yeah food for thought food for thought so kind of connected to 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 putting content out there um, there's obviously always the the thing that's hard of separating yourself from you know what's out there um what for you you're you're married now right yeah sir yeah sure, sure, sure am that was like yes sir and i sure am yes, <laughs> yes sir, sir. <laughs> uh, and i was trying to flash the ring too so there was like three things going on at once yes sir one of the things that i saw was uh you in the past of you being before she was your wife you being excited but also seemingly nervous about sharing her in a video uh mm. in the sense of because it's like it's a first impression. Uh, what were what were your kind of initial concerns with sharing that part of your life? Was it like, did it stem from anything of having those concerns, whether personal or something you'd seen? Not so much that. It was just more protective mm-hmm. because I am not really, I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a vlogger, like a daily vlogger. Mm-hmm. Like I don't share really personal moments of my life. I'm the joke guy. I make the funny haha joke tweets and the shit posts and you know i do the stuff on youtube and parodies and crap like i'm a comedy guy yeah so i feel like it's almost disingenuous of a guy like me to share like personal stuff Mm. um so when i when i do have aaron on camera um i try to make it like funny so we have so there's a series i do called jack ask and it's sort of like it's my parody or it's my take on the q a show on youtube um, which, you know, also is so much less of a thing now than it was five years ago. Yeah. Everyone had a Q&A show. Now it's not so much. <laughs> so I'm like the last, I'm trucking along. But um, uh, we had like a tradition where like every 10 episodes, you know, I bring my wife on and and she is 10 times sassier and funnier and wittier than I ever will be. So she carries the whole thing. So like, it's more like we take questions from the uh, our viewers. Sure. And then she just goes off on these wonderful tangents and we film for like two hours and I somehow cut it down to like a 10 minute video. But like, um, she's hilarious in those, but it's just more like I, she's hilarious. And there's no, like, I try not like, it's, it's weird for a guy. I, I just said this, but it's weird for me to share like personal stories and mm-hmm. such. So I don't, um, yeah. But so, you also, I mean, but you shared like your wedding photo. That's true. Well, right. But, okay. even, but you even turned that into a meme. I which sure did. Is funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's like, please don't Photoshop our beautiful wedding photo. <laughs> that was fun. That was a really fun one to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, I feel like that I make exceptions for the milestones. Okay. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't share everything that goes on behind the scenes, you know. Yeah, I course. don't monetize our arguments and you know, shit like that. Like <laughs> no, no like thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> my wife said what? Um, yeah, I I don't do that. I jokingly told my my wife that I cheated and then <laughs> dude, she didn't take it well. Yeah, those videos. I'm just like, why are you doing this? So you fucking insane people can't fucking can't fucking relate <laughs> can't relate can't relate to that then, like then, why like why why do you put that out there yeah i think the ones i don't know if i get more annoyed by the ones where they do it legitimately or the ones that are like super fake 
it's both both it, are shitty no both are you shitty know what I mean? i'm just like which annoys me more because yeah. there was definitely a period of like the fake prank era yeah. which which i think had a lot of people wait pranks on youtube are faked wait a second <laughs> back up no they're social experiments wait no they're fake social uh, experiments that Christ. are meant to make a, a good point that even though they're not based in reality social experiments is such a fucking triggering thing <laughs> <laughs> i like that, that was you- such a shit show back in like but the thing is, we like we say back in the day, it's just migrated successfully to Facebook and like TikTok and all these fucking other places where it really has the, the content is just getting, getting regurgitated. My uh, the new one that's like, is it fake or is it not? Is the uh, God, this is it's a month old. So now on the Internet, it's like 12 years yeah, old yeah, yeah. Uh, was the I'm going to go around cutting people's headphones and then giving them AirPods. So like you get the the reaction of them getting angry. Oh, but, I haven't seen this. No, it's a. Uh, you should do it. This is a, I, I'm sorry, a TikTok thing? Is that what this is? It was TikTok, but the, a lot of them are now migrating their content for, for YouTube. So it's like shot uh, where oh. you can appreciate it vertically. Appreciate it, Jesus Christ. I'm talking about it like it's an art. Uh, <laughs> well, it is though, Phil. It is, oh, it's all art. If it entertains, <laughs> yeah, all art. if it brings an emotion. Um, no, but it's like, yeah, you see it vertically and then uh, regular kind of like 16 by 9 format. Right. Uh, but yeah, I just, I, I look at those and yeah, every now and I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I get triggered. I, I just look at it. I'm like. So, so it's just this is repeating. where we're going with pranks. This is where it's happening. <sighs> hey, man, it's a. Uh, I was like, I don't want to, yeah, say specific people, but it just. Well, yeah. I'm sure they're all real too. All of them, one thousand percent. All of them. 